table like this. Come on. So this is the column. I have to top Agbado. Why Yeah, Agbado. Somebody 
friends and fans of g cross i know the last time you saw my video saw me hopping on the train and all most of you be wondering where is this guy heading to is he in las giddy is he out of las giddy or what anyways i left las giddy and right now i'm in a city that has one of the finest and greatest tourist sites in the country yeah this is me after the first stage we have taken about 120 steps on the staircase resting and drinking fresh palm wine on the first layer of the Olumo rock. In case you don't know, the Olumo rock is in Ogun State, Abiokuta precisely. Here in the first stage where I stopped to take palm wine, they have trees there and they explain the significance of those trees. Now we're on the second stage where they have the shrine. And this shrine, uh, according to what the tour guide is telling me, there are only two people in every generation that can get into that shrine in the whole of Egba land. Right, so he's ex doing lots of explanation here, trying to tell me about the significance of this place. And of course, you can do prayers there if you believe in their deity. But for a person like me, I pray to only wait in I believe. You understand? Okay, we now had to get more explanation about the place. You can see how serious he is, trying to tell me about the whole history of the Orulmo rock. Then, still on the second stage, we went to another site. This is where the warriors used to hide during the war it's like a hideout 
you know then inside there you see the summary i'm going to get into now right under the rock they have like five rooms there where some of the warriors were residing you know just watch out you see where we're going to where we're going to get into right now you see yeah this is the grave this is the grave of one of the strongest warriors in Egbalan, and um he's explaining the significance of the grave and why he was buried there on that the Oluma rock right i've been listening to him keenly then um he takes me a step further we try to go under the rock you can see i'm moving behind him moving behind him quietly observantly trying not to hurt myself because i'm way taller than him he tries to show me where they used to grind pepper and yam back in the days that's like their mortar back then still under the Oluma rock and it will shock you to know that as small as this place looks they have about five rooms under there where some of those warriors were staying with their family you know so i've been taking all on all of those lessons and i begin to imagine the kind of life these people were living back then when we did not have internet and all the things we we're enjoying today so he's, you can see he's trying to demonstrate how they were pounding back then he now takes us to where we're supposed to take the go to the third stage there's supposed to be a staircase and a normal a narrow path that's a sculpture of most of their warriors you know and this is yes the final stage but before we got here i could not show you the staircase we used to come here because i did not i could know it's a narrow place most definitely he tries to explain that this is the top of the rock where you see the whole city and of course very soon you're going to see the ogun state river the ogun state river is somewhere around there i even got to see uh the late mko abiola's father's house and then we sang the Ulumo rock and see you pick a lagre to be that bow in the mirror. My oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, glory oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, glory oh, Lumo. I rejoice, I rejoice, top of Ulumo rock. Most of you know me as G Cross, some call me G Baba, some call me Son of the Lion, some call me Ekbe. Some call me CEO No Joy Records. But finally, my name is Orok, and this is a simple story of how I conquered the rock. Watch out for my next video. <laughs>
the people say that there is an inner peace that comes with chilling by the side of the bridge. And when I made this trip, I knew that there's no how I was going to come and leave Las Giri without having that feeling of the bitch. Though lots of the very trending and beautiful beaches have been pulled down because of the ongoing projects. According to my friend Marathon, he'll be like, ah, and a trench is beach, man. But I'm like, hey, I just want that feeling. That feeling of the beach. The calmness of the beach. The wildness of the wave. The surroundings of the beach, the cool, breezy area, and every calmness that comes with nature is all I wanted to feel. And I did it during the morning sun, and of course I got myself refreshed. This is me at the Alpha Beach, Lagos State, Nigeria. This is me, son of a lion, just happily doing his thing. This is me, just enjoying every part of nature a cool neighbor Joe you be self more I hey Joe you say you did it there I all right before we go there big my guys come on give me a follow Joe Ray for sense of this one together man let's go please take no more tempo please don't increase the tempo take no more tempo let's go let's go there man take my take my Hold on, before that one first, one break here for my girl. One break here. Ah! One break here. Now we have 700 to go. I don't know. You may reach 1 million this time. One break here. Go. I see something like this. Hold on. Hold on.
Manager, what you say? What you say? What you say tonight? No joy. <laughs> you know what time it is, superstar DJ KL. Hey, say, I did it, boy. I saw you. Give up, I see now. Is that my baby? Yeah. Is that my assy? Yeah. Is that my tepe tepe? Yeah. I love my baby. I love you too. Right, move, 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 baby. Come, come to daddy. Come to daddy. I love you. I kiss, love you kiss. No, don't worry, bring it back. Right. Take care, Emerson. Tonight. I'm about you. That's so. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, I need you down. I need you down. I'm not sure you're shouting out. Okay, sexy ladies and subs, keep going. Stop boys, you must say, you know what I'm doing. We are starting to party with the fat busters. We are starting to vibe. Bob, let's see the vibe to now. Things they slow. 
So many girls, so many daughters, we no see their pines. We no press their breasts. I can't lie, we no dare impress. So many school where man don't go, we no just get sense. Oh, 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 oh.
See what I have been busy doing. You see? You see? I suffer past you. That's racks on racks, baby. We don't crack some jokes. <laughs> Let's get going, guys. So I gotta be here and uh, support him. So that's why we're outside tonight. Now, how do you keep it together? Now, not just keep her up, but building up that platform for others to shine. Like, 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 all right, and now this is the question I always ask everybody. Where do you see Chikos in five years? I like this one. And I hope to see more videos of it. Now, with the top of the what the next project is. We already have a plan of ready to go ahead. All right, ladies and gentlemen, anticipate everywhere on your socials YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and also you have that right? A your album. Okay, right? Yeah, it's already cooked. No, it's already cooked. <laughs> it's already cooked. All right, I hope you have all the best and what kind of party are we expecting? Should I change this one down to change? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for the best. 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 You go me on them, as I reach out. You pull me up as you do. You two go my car, chief I so quite pay on. I chief with them big bro. You did them at my connection. Don't I do my do? I see by my end that da. You go put me up on the fan. You put me can't take my food. Them my get caught. Check
ready to explode. In Niger, we can afford food shelter. Hey.
somebody You know we all need somebody, somebody So a DJ, you go follow us like that, you understand? No go spiritual, one time. One time. Yeah, I'm here now. If you dance fast, I'll give you 10 million. No, no, no. Go for it. Get on there, you know. Make a house. Yo, I'm gonna see you. Let's go. Please don't go over my face. Don't get to my rock too. DJ, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, DJ. I beg, uh, look palm, look palm, look palm. You're supposed to do to do now. Let's go, let's go. Start to begin. What's up? 
Yeah, friends and fans of G Cross. I know the last time you saw my video, saw me hopping on a train and all. Most of you be wondering where is this guy heading to? Is he in Las Gidi? Is he out of Las Gidi or what? Anyways, I left Las Gidi and right now I'm in a city that has one of the finest and greatest tourist sites in the country. Yeah, this is me after the first stage of taking about 120 steps on the staircase, resting and drinking fresh palm wine on the first layer of the Olumo Rock. In case you don't know, the Olumo Rock is in Ogun State. Abio Kuta, precisely. Here in the first stage where I stopped to take palm wine, they have trees there and they explain the significance of those trees. Now we're on the second stage where they have the shrine. And this shrine, uh, according to what the tour guide is telling me, there are only two people in every generation that can get into that shrine in the whole of Egba land, right? So he's ex doing lots of explanation here trying to tell me about the significance of this place and of course you can do prayers there if you believe in their deity but for a person like me i pray to only wait in i believe you understand okay we now had to get more explanation about the place you can see how serious he is trying to tell me about the whole history of the Orulmo rock then still on the second stage we went to another site this is where the warriors used to hide during the war it's like a hideout you know then inside there you see the summary i'm going to get into now right under the rock they have like five rooms there where some of the warriors were residing you know just watch out you see where we're going to where we're going to get into right now see yeah this is the grave this is the grave of one of the strongest warriors in Egbalan, and um he's explaining the significance of the grave and why he was buried there on that the Olumo rock, right? I've been listening to him keenly. Then um he takes me a step further. We try to go on that rock. You can see I'm moving behind him. Moving behind him quietly, observantly. Trying not to hurt myself because I'm way taller than him. He tries to show me where they used to grind pepper and yam back in the days. That's like they are mortar back then, still under the Olumo rock. And it will shock you to know that as small as this place looks, they have about five rooms under there where some of those warriors were staying with their family. You know, so I've been taking all on all of those lessons and I begin to imagine the kind of life these people were living back then when we did not have internet and all the things we we're enjoying today. So it's, you can see he's trying to demonstrate how they were pounding back then. He now takes us to where we're supposed to take the go to the third stage. There's supposed to be a staircase and a normal a narrow path. That's a sculpture of most of their warriors. You know, and this is yes, the final stage. But before we got here, I could not show you the staircase we used to come here. Because I not I could know it's a narrow place, most definitely. He tries to explain that this is the top of the rock where you see the whole city. And of course, very soon you're going to see the Ogun State River. The Ogun State River is somewhere around there. I even got to see uh, the late MKO Abiola's father's house. And then we sang the Olumo Rock and See you. Most of you know me as G-Cross, some call me G-Baba, some call me Son of the Lion, some call me Ekbe, some call me CEO No Joy Records. But finally, my name is Orok, and this is a simple story of how I conquered the rock. Watch out for my next video.
Okay. Still on this my vacation worker. I know so many people will be like, man, G cross, you enjoy life, you enjoy life, you enjoy life. If I don't enjoy life, now death I be want to enjoy. Yes, here I am at the O O P L Olushegun Obasanjo Presidential Library. And yes, in this presidential library they have cinema, they have the wildlife, they have the hotel, they have a whole lot inside here. But first we're gonna talk about what is happening in the library. Some people will visit in the museum rather. Some people will visit see this museum now where they just keep things and all. But the amazing thing about this presidential library is that it is the history of General Olushegun Obasanjo, one time head of state of the Federal Republic and one time president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. If we go and we take a trip together into this library, let me show you one or two things that will make you happy. Yes, this is like the entrance when you just get in, you see the whole amazing artwork. Yeah, it looks like it is out of this world. An amazing view indeed. This is where the journey started. It shows where he was born, where he went to school and all. This uh, shows some other parts of him. You see service pistol. Here you see ceremonial uniform. What, what people don't know that is he was in the Boy Scout too. Now this is like uh, a traditional sitting room of the African uh, descendants. Uh, these are some other achievements. All of those things you see in the gallery are all the prizes or all the gifts he's gotten from different countries in the world. Uh, this shows about the United Nations and their leadership. This also has to do with the United Nations. This is a prison in which he was locked up. And these are the parts of the world that he has traveled to. Of course, see me on the presidential seats where Olusegun Obasanjo once sat as head of state and president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Hey, that was my tour at the Olusegun Obasanjo Presidential Library. And I hope you had fun watching with me. Watch out for my next video. We're right here, man. Yeah, we're well, here yeah, at the Google PL Wildlife Park. Now we're going to be taking a trip together. Just follow me. Okay, so uh, we're taking a trip inside right now. This is the entrance. This OOPL, it's Olushi Gunubasanjo Presidential Library Wild Park, right? Yeah, you have um, you have uh, structures that have been built to represent the animals. This board you're seeing here shows all the animals that you see in this world. Yeah, starting with the rabbits. I might not know the names of all of these animals, and there are some of them that already went to sleep because I actually went here, went in here late in the evening, you know. Um, whatever this animal is called, African, whatever as you can see on the board, we have um, what's that? Yeah, that's a porcupine, that's porcupine over there. Uh, we moved again to another part of the world. There we have crocodiles there. Um, at this part we have hyenas. Hyenas, there are different types of hyenas. You see lots of cages with lots of them there. There's a lion, there's a cub actually. There are two small lions there. The biggest one was actually locked in because of the cub, the, the, the smallest lying there so he doesn't eat it up you see you see the small one lying down there right so uh, moved over to check that's a bull bull i can see there there's a part we passed we passed the snake somewhere but the snake was hiding on us so we could not do that video so we have crocodiles we have lions we have different species of animals here in this wild you can see the ostrich Ostriches are really big with their long, long necks. You know, at some point I felt they were going to come out of that cage. And I couldn't go very, very close. You know. So I still walked down to try to experience more about this adventure. Still trying to observe. Yeah, the red deer here was sleeping. 
So we had to take a walk to where we have the birds, the flamingos, the dogs, uh, lots of them together. You know, they're just there having fun, catching their cruise. And I'm also catching my cruise too, you know. At this point, I was already getting frustrated because uh, lots of sunfly feasting on me. And uh, you can see, you can see the dotted hyena and um, we also have um, striped, striped hyenas here. There are all of different species different species moving around the whole of this place on its own it's a whole lot of exercise whole lot of exercise but it's good for the body though i think i'm going to lose some pounds we have golden eagle at some point i was like are these eagles how can eagles be this small but i think probably they're like baby eagles or whatever they call them right so they kept moving trying to see more what more the wildlife had for us. At this point, I was really famished, but hey, we had to finish what we started. So look at these giant horses. They look really, really, really beautiful. Very big. Been wondering how they feed all of these animals. And I'm like, okay, yeah, we pay to come watch them. Maybe from our little token, they get to feed them, you know. And I was like, hey, isn't this horse going to jump out of here? You see the different kind of monkeys. We have a baboon there somewhere. We have a baboon there somewhere. You know. So, moving forward, we came to see the hooded vultures. They looked kind of hungry, and I was wondering, what, what are the vultures doing in here, man? Then we saw some very large tortoise, right? From uh, here... We saw another species of a monkey. So he was he or she was kept differently from where others were. So I, I feel it's a very different and rare species. You know, we got the, we saw the goose and ducks. Here, yeah, they're all having fun. Then uh, we have the parrots here, most deaf, and this may leave in. Yeah, most definitely I'm gonna come back because uh, I was so happy that some of this. Animals I really wanted to see, they're out eating or sleeping. So we're definitely going to have this adventure again. But for now, hope you had fun with me. Yeah, friends and fans of g -Cross, I know the last time you saw my video, saw me hopping on a train and all, most of you be wondering, where is this guy heading to? Is he in Las Gidi? Is he out of Las Gidi or what? Anyways, I left Las Gidi and right now I'm in a city that has one of the finest and greatest tourist sites in the country. Yeah, this is me after the first stage where I was taking about 120 steps on the staircase, resting and drinking fresh palm wine on the first layer of the Olumo Rock. In case you don't know, the Olumo Rock is in Ogun State, Abiokuta precisely. Yeah, in the first stage where I stopped to take palm wine, they have trees there and they explain the significance of those trees. Now we're on the second stage where they have the shrine. And this shrine, uh, according to what the tour guide is telling me, there are only two people in every generation that can get into that shrine in the whole of Egba land, right? So he's ex doing lots of explanation here, trying to tell me about the significance of this place. And of course, you can do prayers there if you believe in their deity. But for a person like me, I pray to only wait in I believe, you understand? Okay, we now had to get more explanation about the place. You can see how serious he is, trying to tell me about the whole history of the Orulmo Rock. Then still on the second stage, we went to another site. This is where the warriors used to hide during the war. It's like a hideout, you know. Then inside there, you see, there's something I'm going to get into now. Right under the rock, they have like five rooms there where some of the warriors were residing, you know. Just watch out, you see where we're gonna where we're gonna get into right now. See Yeah, this is the grave. This is the grave of one of the strongest warriors in Egbalan. And um he's explaining the significance of the grave and why he was buried there on that the Olumo rock, right? I've been listening to him keenly. Then um he takes me a step further. We try to go 
on that rock. You can see I'm moving behind him, moving behind him quietly, observantly, trying not to hurt myself because I'm way taller than him. He tries to show me where they used to grind pepper and yam back in the days. That's like their mortar back then, still under the Olumo rock. And it will shock you to know that as small as this place looks, they have about five rooms under there where some of those warriors were staying with their family. You know, so I've been taking all on all of those lessons and I begin to imagine the kind of life these people were living back then when we did not have internet and all the things we we're enjoying today. So it's, you can see he's trying to demonstrate how they were pounding back then. He now takes us to... We were supposed to take the, go to the third stage. There is supposed to be a staircase and a, normal, a narrow path. That's a sculpture of most of their warriors, you know. And this is, yes, the final stage. But before we got here, I could not show you the staircase we used to come here because I not I could know it's a narrow place, most definitely. He tries to explain that this is the top of the rock where you see the whole city. And of course, very soon you're going to see the Ogun State River. The Ogun State River is somewhere around there. I even got to see uh, the late MKO Abiola's father's house. And then we sang the Olumo Rock Anthem. <laughs> Most of you know me as G-Cross, some call me G-Baba, some call me Son of the Lion, some call me Ekbe, some call me CEO No Joy Records. But finally, my name is Orok, and this is a simple story of how I conquered the rock. Watch out for my next video. Joy Records, my brother, up I see you, I see you. I see Pista, Naughty Producer, I see my brother, my friend. Pat Magic Sound. Nah, me, nah, me. Of course, you are the crew now, you know, you know, you know. Passing over there, Mr. Bless over here, that's cool. Susie Jane, and I'm your boy, G Baba. Pat, stop this thing. Nah, it's not waste time, it's not waste time. Let's go. Now, I'm going to come here. Give me fun, give me fun, yeah, like a banana. I'm looking at you, but you get a lot of 
Kukun. Kukun bi kentang ima aku. Yen poin keka aje. Uje bufo itu bide. Main kaya kui nami kanabu. When I say sweet prince is a goal, I want to hear it's a goal, it's a goal. Sweet prince is a goal.
trophies for the MVPs. There will be trophies for the teams as well. DJ Barrow, please increase the volume of this microphone. Thank you.
Are you playing? What type of playing is this? This evening you will die. Look at my face. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. Do it. Hey! <laughs> God have mercy upon us. Do they use your generation to play? Hey! <laughs> Even the small thing I will turn you to yard But just to help you How did you get him? Since you know we ground with me alone I came with my colleagues <laughs> Hey! Bad market! Hold this man in the first place. What did be what did be this?
the point now.
touch this one You want deaf? Only two studio monitors alone are problem. The package and we get away the thing. They manage the sound. The feedback was that we are this. So right here, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. The Google P L Wildlife Park. Now we're going to be taking a trip together. Just follow me. Okay, so uh, we're taking a trip inside right now. This is the entrance. This OOPL, it's Olushi Gunubas and Job Presidential Library Wild Park, right? Yeah, you have um, you have uh, structures that have been built to represent the animals. This board you're seeing here shows all the animals that you see in this world. Yeah, starting with the rabbits. I might not know the names of all of these animals, and there are some of them that already went to sleep because I actually went here, went in here late in the evening, you know. Um, whatever this animal is called, African, whatever as you can see on the board, we have, um, what's that? Yeah, that's a porcupine. That's porcupine over there. Uh, we moved again to another part of the world where we have crocodiles there. Um, at this part, we have hyenas. Hyenas, there are different types of hyenas. You see lots of cages with lots of them there. There's a lion. There's a cub, actually. There are two small lions there. The biggest one was actually locked in because of the cub, the, the the smallest lion there, so he doesn't eat it up. You see, you see the small one lying down there, right? So, uh, moved over to check. That's a bull. Bull. I can see there. There's a path we passed. We passed a snake somewhere. But the snake was hiding on us, so we could not do that video. So we have crocodiles, we have lions, we have different species of animals here in this wild. You can see the ostrich. Ostrich are really big with their long, long necks. You know, at some point I felt they were going to come out of that cage. And I couldn't go very, very close. You know. So I still walked down. To try to experience more about this adventure. Still trying to observe. Yeah, the red deer here was sleeping. So we had to take a walk to where we have the birds, the flamingos, the dogs, uh lots of them together. You know, they're just there having fun, catching their crews. And I'm also catching my crews too, you know. At this point, I was already getting frustrated because a uh, lot of sunfly feasting on me. And uh, you can see, you can see the dotted hyena, and um, we also have um, striped striped hyenas here. There are all of different species, different species. Moving around the whole of this place on its own, it's a whole lot of exercise, whole lot of exercise. But it's good for the body though. I think I'm gonna lose some pounds. We have golden eagle. At some point I was like, are these eagles? How can eagles be this small? But I think probably they're like baby eagles or whatever they call them. Right? So we kept moving. Trying to see more. What more the wildlife had for us. At this point I was really famished, but yay. 
we had to finish what we started so look at these giant horses they look really 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 beautiful very big been wondering how they feed all of these animals and I'm like, okay, yeah, we pay to come watch them. Maybe from our little token, they get to feed them. You know. And I was like, hey, isn't this horse going to jump out of here? You see the different kind of monkeys. We have a baboon there somewhere. We have a baboon there somewhere. You know. So, moving forward, we came to see the hooded vultures. They looked kind of hungry and i was wondering well, what the vultures doing in here man then we saw some very large tortoise right from uh, here we saw another species of uh, monkey so he was he or she was kept differently from where others were so i i feel it's a very different and rare species you know we got the we saw the goose and dogs here yeah. They're all having fun. Then uh, we have the parrots here, most deaf. And this may leave in. Yeah, most definitely I'm going to come back because uh, I was so happy that some of these animals I really wanted to see, they're out eating or sleeping. So we're definitely going to have this adventure again. But for now, hope you had fun with me. Okay. Still on this my vacation worker. I know so many people will be like, man, G Cross, you enjoy life, you enjoy life, you enjoy life. If I don't enjoy life, now death, I be want to enjoy. Yes, here I am at the OOPL, Olushegun Obasanjo Presidential Library. And yes, in this presidential library, they have cinema, they have the wildlife, they have the hotel, they have a whole lot inside here. But first, we're going to talk about what is happening in the library. Some people go visit in the museum, rather. Some people go visit this museum now where they just keep things and all. But the amazing thing about this presidential library is that it is the history of General Olushegun Obasanjo, one time head of state of the Federal Republic and one time president of the federal republic of nigeria if we go and we take a trip together into this library let me show you one or two things that will make you happy yes this like the entrance when you just get in you see the whole amazing artwork yeah it looks like it is out of this world an amazing view indeed this is where the journey started it shows where he was born where he went to school and all this uh, shows some other parts of him you see service pistol here you see ceremonial uniform what what people don't know that he was in the Boy Scout too. Now, this is like a, a traditional sitting room of the African uh, descendants. Uh, these are some other achievements. All of those things you see in the gallery are all the prizes or all the gifts he's gotten from different countries in the world. Uh, this shows about the United Nations and their leadership. This also has to do with the United Nations. This is a prison in which he was locked up. And these are the parts of the world that he has traveled to. Of course, see me on the presidential seats where Olusegun Obasanjo once sat as head of state and president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Hey, that was my tour at the Olusegun Obasanjo Presidential Library. And I hope you had fun watching with me. Watch out for my next video.
Yeah, friends and fans of G Cross, I know the last time you saw my video, saw me hopping on the train and all, most of you be wondering where is this guy heading to? Is he in Las Gidi? Is he out of Las Gidi or what? Anyways, I left Las Gidi and right now I'm in a city that has one of the finest and greatest tourist sites in the country. Yeah, this is me after the first stage of taking about 120 steps on the staircase, resting and drinking fresh palm wine on the first layer of the Olumo Rock. In case you don't know, the Olumo Rock is in Ogun State, Abiokuta precisely. Yeah, in the first stage where I stopped to take palm wine, they have trees there and they explain the significance of those trees. Now we're on the second stage where they have the shrine. And this shrine, uh, according to what the tour guide is telling me, there are only two people in every generation that can get into that shrine in the whole of Egba land, right? So he's ex doing lots of explanation here, trying to tell me about the significance of this place. And of course, you can do prayers there if you believe in their deity. But for a person like me, I pray to only wait in I believe, you understand? Okay, we now had to get more explanation about the place you can see how serious he is trying to tell me about the whole history of the Orulmo rock then still on the second stage we went to another site this is where the warriors used to hide during the war it's like a hideout you know then inside there you see there's something i'm going to get into now right under the rock they have like five rooms there where some of the warriors were residing you know just watch out you see where we're gonna where we're gonna get into right now see yeah this is the grave this is the grave of one of the strongest warriors in Egbalan, and um he's explaining the significance of the grave and why he was buried there on that the olumo rock right i've been listening to him keenly then um he takes me a step further we try to go under the rock you can see i'm moving behind him moving behind him quietly observantly trying not to hurt myself because i'm way taller than him he tries to show me where they used to grind pepper and yam back in the days that's like their mortar back then still under the olumo rock and it will shock you to know that as small as this place looks they have about five rooms under there where some of those warriors were staying with their family you know so i've been taking all on all of those lessons and i begin to imagine the kind of life these people were living back then when we did not have internet and all the things we we're enjoying today so he's, you can see he's trying to demonstrate how they were pounding back then he now takes us to where we're supposed to take the go to the third stage there's supposed to be a staircase and a normal a narrow path that's a sculpture of most of their warriors you know and this is yes the final stage but before we got here i could not show you the staircase we used to come here because i not i could know it's a narrow place most definitely he tries to explain that this is the top of the rock where you see the whole city and of course very soon you're going to see the ogun state river the ogun state river is somewhere around there i even got to see uh the late mko abiola's father's house and then we sang the Olumo rock and Most of you know me as G Cross, some call me G Baba, some call me Son of the Lion, some call me Ekbe. Some call me CEO No Joy Records. But finally, my name is Orok, and this is a simple story of how I conquered the rock. Watch out for my next video. Good evening, my people. Okay, see, he's a two-hour 
I beg uh, look palm, look palm, look palm. You're supposed to wait to do now. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, Start well. Thank <laughs> you. 